Now settle back, get comfortable, and get ready for French dances. Put her over here. I'll take her purse off first. She doesn't need that. Okay. Maybe this will do it this time. Let's try it again. things together. Oh, oh, no. I mean, you know how it is. Yeah. Well, I was in school up to this, uh, this semester, and I decided that I needed to take some time off to sort some things out. Well, I, I know exactly what you mean. I've, I've about decided that uh, engineering is just not what I want. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm, I'm dropped out of school for a while. Mm -hmm. and, uh, it wasn't the math, I just, um, I don't know if designing bridges is what I want with my life, you know, there, there are so many other things to do, and, and I don't even feel like I know myself, you know what I mean? Well, I thought you were great at it, you know, Oh, well, you know, it's not the math, like I said, so, are you still living uh, with Jill? No, 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 no. I moved out from Jill and living with this girl, Lori Jenkins. You know her? No, I, I don't believe I do. No. She has the most interesting thing to tell about the Institute of the Realization of Human Potential. I, I think I read an article about the Institute of Psychology Today. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. They use the new breathing techniques, right? Oh, yes. and you just breathe. Oh, it's just wonderful. Well, I'd like to try that. Are they yeah. meeting anytime soon? Yeah, I tell you what, you can go with me. Tuesday, I'm, uh -huh. I'm free. I have nothing else to do. Uh, where did they get off on this? Uh, maybe it's her sweater. Take her sweater off. <laughs> okay, put her back over in that corner behind the screen. Let's 
put him over by the dressing room. Take those cigarettes out of his pocket. See, that might have something to do with it. Didn't I meet you at a party last week? Your name was... Uh, Hi. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Where did you get an attitude like that? Uh. Must be the sweater. I don't know. Tara, let's try one more time. Take her and put her right there. Put him back over in that far corner over there. Wrong corner. That corner. We tried that corner. It didn't work. Okay. <coughs> we'll see. Go. Well, hey, how you doing? What's going on? Oh, I'm fine. How's your mother? Well, she's doing pretty good. She's going to get those kids out of her hair, you know. Well, I, I didn't see you at church last week. Were you sick? No, no, we think I went up to Watertown to be with my sister and her family. I went to church with them up there. Well, Did you nice. know that they're going to send a missionary to Paraguay? Well, I hope you don't mind skaters because they got them big as Volkswagens down there. <laughs> Sounds like he's got his work cut right out for him. Oh, don't you know it? Say, you know, you should go with me sometime. Yeah, you can come to Watertown to church with me when we visit well, my sister and visit Brother Hoffman. And he's got the most wonderful and neatest well, story to tell about Nigeria. I'd do it, but my brother asked me to come over after church and watch the game. You know how I am when it comes to football. Cut! <laughs> 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 I'm I got some news to have in the refrigerator. Oh, that sounds okay, but you know, I live just around the corner. We could go over there. We could watch a movie on the DTR. Well, that sounds like fun. Okay. That sounds good. Okay, what did this guy want, anyway? I don't know, but you couldn't pay me to do that again. <laughs> <laughs>
welcome back to Talk Radio on WIAO AM 418 on your radio dial. I'm Don Dorfman. I'll be with you for the next few hours. And we have open phones now, and you can talk about anything you want to talk about, because this is America, where you're guaranteed freedom of speech. We have a lot of issues facing us today, and I do want to hear from you. So let's fill up these phone lines, because I can't do it without you. Folks, I see I've got a call. Go ahead. You're on EAO. Oh, you were talking last week about the Trilateral Commission. Oh, which we all know is a front for the One World Socialistic Government Conspiracy. You're exactly right, Don. I've been doing a lot of studying, and I found out that these people... Well, sir, you're absolutely correct, and none of which surprises me. I can tell you've been doing research, and I do like to see that. People take an interest in their country. You know these Illuminati and uh, Trilateral Commission people, they like nothing better than to destroy our way of life. But as long as you stay vigilant and you keep watching, we will make it. I know we can. I know I've got another good call coming up. Go ahead. You're live on the Don Dortman Show. Go ahead. Uh, uh, Don, uh, I've been looking into this uh, uh, New Age movement. Yeah. But, uh, uh, frankly, it's scary. I, I, I'm just absolutely horrified at what's going on. I mean, do you realize the implications? I mean, uh, these, these folks actually believe that you can find the truth by, by what, what's the, what they say, looking within yourself instead of by listening to the word of Jesus. I mean, really. <laughs> well, sir, I, I do understand your disgust and concern, but... Uh, Unfortunately, these people's activities are protected by the very Constitution which they scorn. And I can only say that the upsurge in this type of demonic thought, um, looking within oneself to find the truth, is uh, definitely a sign of the end times and the diabolical forces at work. And I am uh, urging you to keep studying and keep looking into this. And I'm looking for another call right now, so go ahead. You're on IAO. All right. Don, I was wondering if you'd allow me to offer some constructive criticism. Oh, come on, come on. <laughs> we got people trying to build things up, make this a better country, and someone like the last caller, he can only think about tearing it down. It's just a sample of what I was talking about. But sir, uh, why don't you go somewhere else if you're going to have that kind of attitude, and maybe I'll get a good call this time. Go ahead, you're live on EAO. Don, I just wanted to thank you for not being afraid to speak the truth. The other hosts on this station, they just don't seem to know what's going on. And you were right to hang up on that man. I can't imagine what he was talking about. Well, ma'am, I, I don't think he had any idea either, you know? I don't think he... God did. bless you, Don. Well, God bless you, ma'am. I'm happy you called. Let me see if we... Yes, we got another one. We got a payphone booth here. Go right ahead. Speaking of the Illuminati, Don, I've been doing a lot of research, and I'm convinced that they have agents in all the media, New York, L.A., even here in Nashville. Well, brother, you're exactly correct, and if you'll leave your name and address with our engineer, I'll see you get the inside story on this very thing, all right? I'll sure do that. Thanks a lot, Don. Oh, you're welcome, sir, and all of you out there who take an interest in your country and in what's going on with it, if you would, after you call me, leave your name and address with our engineer, and I'll send you some information I've got on this insidious Illuminati and the affiliated people that are in with it, because I want you to know about this. I want you to learn the truth, so just leave your name and number with the engineer if you're interested. Go ahead. You're on I.O. Hi, uh, Don. I wonder what you think about the DOE's proposal to use Tennessee as a nuclear waste dump. Well, sir, that's hardly relevant to our present discussion. I mean, if you want to talk about something flippant, go somewhere else. I mean, we've got important things to discuss here. You're on IAO. Go ahead. I don't really have a comment, Don. I just want to tell you that my husband and I listen to you all the time, and keep up the good work. Well, ma'am, thank you very much. I'm happy to have callers like you. It helps me, gives me the strength to go on. And remember, I will be back in just a few minutes. I see we have some news coming up. But if you'll leave your names and numbers with our engineer, I'll see you get the inside story on the Illuminati plot to overthrow our way of life. And I'll be right back with you. You callers on the line, hang on. You're on All Talk Radio, WIAO, Nashville. Don 
John Darkman. Yes. Yes, illuminated one, it's as we suspected. There are too many people out there who are looking into what we're doing. I will have the names and addresses for you. Yes, illuminated one. Thank you. Do what thou wilt shall be the whole of the law.
to stay when it had light. Mother called me a wretch. You wretch, she said. I saw him in her eyes, the anger. I wonder what it is. A wretch. This day, it had water falling from upstairs. <coughs> it fell all around. I saw that. The ground at the back I watched from the little window. The ground that sucked up the water by thirsty lips. It drank too much and it got sick and runny brown. I didn't like it. Mother is a pretty, I know. In my bed place with cold walls around, I have a paper thing that was behind the furnace. It says on it, screen stars. I see the pictures, faces like a mother and father. Father says they are pretty. Once he said. And also mother, he said. Mother so pretty and me decent enough. Look at you, he said, and didn't have the nice face. I touched his arm and said, it is right, father. He shook and pulled away for I couldn't reach. Today, mother let me off the chain a little so I could look out the little window. That's how I saw the water falling from the stairs. This day it had goldness in the upstairs. As I know, when I looked at it, my eyes hurt. After I look at it, the cellar is red. I think this was church. They leave the upstairs. The big machine swallows them and rolls out past and is gone. In the back part is the little mother. She is much smaller than me. I am big. It is a secret but I have pulled the chain out of the wall. I can see out the little window all I like. In this day, when it got dark, I had eaten my food and some bugs. I hear laughs upstairs. I'd like to know why there are laughs for. I took the chain from the wall and wrapped it around me. I walked, squished to the stairs. They creak when I walk on them. My legs slip on them because I don't walk on stairs. My, my feet stick to the wood. I went up and opened the door. It was a white place. White as white jewels that come from upstairs sometime. I went in and stood quiet. I hear the laughing some more. I walked to the sound and looked through to the people. More people than I thought was. I thought I should laugh with them. Mother came out and pushed the door in. It hit me and hurt. I fell back on the smooth floor and the chain made noise. I cried. She made a hissing noise into her and put her hand on her mouth. Her eyes got big. She looked at me. I heard father call. What fell? He called. She said, a iron board. Come help pick it up, she said. He came and said, now is that so heavy you need? He saw me and grew big. The anger came in his eyes. He hit me. I spilled some of the drip on the floor from one arm. It was not nice. It made ugly green on the floor. Father told me to go to the cellar. I had to go. The light had hurt some down my eyes. It is not so like that in the cellar. Father tied my <coughs> legs and arms up. He put me on the bed. Upstairs, I heard laughing while I was quiet there looking on a black spider that was swinging down to me. I thought what father said. Oh God, he said, and only ate.
this day father hid in the chain again before it had light. I have to try to pull it out again. He said I was bad to come upstairs. He said never do that again or he would beat me hard. That hurts. I hurt. I slept the day and rested my head against the cold wall. I thought of the white place upstairs. I got the chain from the wall out. Mother was upstairs. I heard a little laughs very high. I looked out the window. I saw all little people, like the little mother and little fathers too. They are pretty. They were making nice noise and jumping around the ground. Their legs was moving hard. They are like mother and father. Mother says all right people look like they do. One of the little fathers saw me. He pointed at the window. I let go and slid down the wall in the dark. I curled up so they would not see. I heard their talks by the window and foots running. Upstairs there was a door hitting. I heard the little mother call upstairs. I heard heavy steps and I rushed to my bed place. I hit the chain in the wall and lay down on my front. I heard mother come down. Have you been out the window, she said. I heard the anger. Stay away from the window. You have pulled the chain out again. She took the stick and hit me with it. I didn't cry. I can't do that. But the drip ran all over the bed. She saw it and twisted away and made a noise. Oh my God, my God, she said. Why have you done this to me? I heard the stick go bounce on the stone floor. She ran upstairs. I slept the day. This day, it had water again. When mother was upstairs, I heard the little one come slow down the steps. I hid myself in the cool pen. Her mother would have anger if the little mother saw me. She had a little live thing with her. It walked on the arms and had pointy ears. She said things to it. It was all right, except the live thing smelled me. It ran up the coal and looked down at me. The hair stood up. In the throat it made an angry noise. I hissed, but it jumped on me. I didn't want to hurt it. I got fear because it bit me harder than the rat does. I hurt, and the little mother screamed. I grabbed the live thing tight. It made sounds I never heard. I pushed it all together. It was all lumpy and red on the black coal. I hid there when mother called. I was afraid of the stick. She left. I crept over the coal with the thing. I hid it under my pillow and rested on it. I put the chain in the wall again. This is another times. Father chained me tight. I hurt because he beat me. This time, I hit the stick out of his hands and made noise. He went away. His face was white. He ran out of my bed place and locked the door. I am not so glad. All day it is cold in here. The chain comes slow out of the wall. And I have a bad anger with mother and father. I will show them. I will do what I did that once. I will screech and laugh loud. I will run on the walls. Last I will hang head down by all my legs and laugh and drift green all over until they are sorry they didn't be nice to me. If they ever try to beat me again, I'll hurt them. I will.
roses in the bedroom on your TV screen. Put your sign, I'll tell you mine, let's do it all on my phone. Where has the evening gone?